So it turns out I made a bit of an error in episode 117, and I would like to correct that. Let's go. Hi, and welcome to episode 118 of Understanding Dark Table. After I published episode 117, Aurelian posted a comment on the YouTube channel and he pointed out an error that I had made. He said, at 9 minutes 13, yes, you are doing something wrong. Your clipping threshold is set greater than 1, which should practically disable the module. If the white balance and the raw coefficients are detected correctly, a threshold of 1 is the maximum. But then some cameras have raw coefficient issues, unidentified at this point, such that you may need to use thresholds as low as 0.7. Then you need to set the reconstruction radius to roughly twice the size of the biggest blown areas, then turn up the iterations until the neighbouring colours get impainted. Okay, so with that in mind, I have an image here from our recent road trip around New South Wales, and yes, I have already done three uh, processed versions of this. One was on the laptop while I was on the road. And I've done a couple of desktop edits since I've been home. Now I'm going to do a fourth one for this video. As you can see, I was shooting directly into the sun at sunset, uh, simply because I loved the way the sun was lighting up this um, dirt embankment on the left-hand side of the frame doesn't look it here, I know, but. So, with all of that in mind, let's turn off Filmic RGB and zoom in on our sun. Now, how big is that in terms of pixels? I honestly don't know. Okay, so that is 604 by 402, so looks like it's maybe 200 pixels wide, roughly. And Aurelian suggested choosing a diameter for the reconstruction that is at least double the area of your blown highlight. So that would suggest that the 512 pixel diameter would probably be the logical choice in this instance. So let's come back to our sun. Let's set our highlight reconstruction module to guided Laplacians. Let's set the diameter to 512. Yes, it says it's going to be slow, but I am running on a 3070, so it shouldn't be too slow. Introduce a couple of iterations, and straight away we can see that there is this painted in yellow pixels in, in the middle of the blown highlight, which is exactly what I want. I want to try and get away from that completely blown out to white look, if I can, for this particular image. What I notice is that as you increase the iterations, now as I mentioned in episode 117, remember that the iterations is all about take this input, run it through the algorithm, and then based on however many iterations you've elected to run, it means feed the output back to the input and process it again, and do that for X number of times with the idea being that with each pass through the algorithm, a few more pixels are being reconstructed based on the local neighborhood. So as you run more iterations, the effect will slowly disperse wider and wider across the problem area. That's the theory. So as we increase the iterations, we can see that yellow area getting larger and larger. And I can tell even on my system at 34 iterations, it is getting a little bit slow. But that's okay. I don't think I really need to go that far. Somewhere around about 20 is probably enough. I can then choose to impaint some flat color. And to be honest, if I do take that iterations up much higher, you can see that it really does spread those colors out further into that blown sun but I feel like it's getting a little bit overdone on the bottom half there, so I am just gonna back that off a bit. You know what? I'm kinda happy back where I was in the low 20s, you know? I, I think that is probably the best trade-off for all of what's going on in this image, and of course, 
you have to remember we're not normally going to view it at 100% like that. When we zoom out, we now have this nice golden setting sun way off in the distance that doesn't have that blown white highlight look. So it gives it a you know, sort of much warmer look. So where do I stand on the highlight reconstruction module and the guided laplation filters? Look, for this particular image, it was certainly the better choice because using reconstructing LCH really did blow that out to white. And for this image, that's not what I wanted. And I do need to stress that, you know, it changes image by image. Sometimes I am happy to have the highlights blow out to white. And sometimes, like this, the guided laplations keeps that nice warm golden glow of the setting sun and it's kind of the vibe I'm going for with this particular image. And just to give you an idea, I'll jump back to the last uh, processed version that I did of this and that's where I'm at with it, you know, and I'm happy with it. And I'm sure Boris could do a much better job of it than I have. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Thank you Aurelian for setting me straight and uh, thank you everybody for your continued support. Questions, comments, feedback, sing out down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.